I, th I think, first of all, it's, it's good to be back. It's really good to be back. And uh, it, it's, been a, it's been a really strange time for everyone. And the first time in the history for probably all coaches, all clubs, to do something like this. And uh, we, are, we are grateful that the, the football is back. And we have to give credit uh, and applause to the people that made this happen. There's a lot of obstacles to, to overcome. It's a lot, a lot of decisions to make. So first of all, we, we like to give thanks to those who made it happen. Hopefully this will be a decision that will help to, to develop football in Qatar in the future. Hopefully it's a, it's a good decision. Now, normally now, at, at this stage, uh, we would be starting a pre-season. Everybody would be fresh and ready for a new season. Everybody will be enthusiastic uh, to restart the season. But uh, now it's, 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 it's difficult because we have now a, an end of season fatigue, but still we are doing a pre-season. So it's physically uh, challenging to do trainings at, uh, at this time, especially in the heat. But I think also it's, it's difficult mentally to prepare players for this short season uh, and then a new season. So it's, 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 uh, every day is a new challenge for us as, uh, as, as leaders in, in this situation. So a tricky time, a little bit weird, uh, weird time. Uh, regarding, regarding the, the fitness and are we ready for the new season, we will have to see. I, I don't think no team is completely satisfied, completely ready at this time. And it's the circumstances that make this. No, no team is, is uh, probably saying that they are, they are really, really ready. But I, I, I believe that we have that kind of players that uh, have really benefited from this stop. I know we had a good run before, before the break. We, we had not lost seven games in a row. Conceded, uh, didn't concede in, uh, I think, the last five games. So we were on a good run, but I still think this break has done Arabi good. And why? Because we have, first of all, young players that need time to develop so we could focus on their development. And we have players that have been training really hard. So I believe, and I am excited to see how they react when they start to play in again. But I believe this, this break has done good for Arabi probably better for Arabi than some other teams. This game for us is, is, is uh, the game of the season. So really it doesn't matter what, what teams we, we have left to play if we don't win Garafa. If we don't win this game, uh, it really doesn't matter who we play after this one, in my opinion. It's uh, now, now Garafa is four points ahead of us, five points ahead of Salia. But they are probably not thinking about Arabi or, or Salia. They are thinking about Al Sadd because they, are, they, they have the. It's a small step for them to, to reach the third place. So probably Garafa is thinking about uh, reaching the third place, not uh, fighting with uh, Arabi and Salia about the fourth place. Um, so, yeah, I, I think even though they, they would lose against Arabi, they still are the favorites to take at least the fourth, fourth place. Uh, so th this is a game for us that we, we, we need to win. And uh, I don't think you need a coach to, to tell. You need a coach to tell people that. It, you can see it from the, from the scoreboard that we need uh, these points. But this game is, is, is the season for, for Arabi players. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a sad, it's really sad that uh, we, we cannot play in front of our fans. Uh, but we play, we will play, for sure, we will play like they, they were watching on, on the stadium. And I hope uh, for the Arabi fans who will be watching on, on TV, I hope they will be proud of, of the performance of, of the team. And we will do everything to, to make them proud of, uh, of our performance. Yeah, I think, I think it depends on the country. Probably some countries are more happy than others to, to restart. Football hasn't been, in my opinion, the same 
and it has shown that most of the leagues start very slowly because uh, both without fans and also probably the fitness side of it, much, especially much fitness, is lacking. So we haven't seen a lot of goals uh, and so on. But uh, I hope, the, like I said in the beginning, and I hope that uh, the decision to play football here in Qatar will be a good step in development of football in Qatar. But we can only see after the, the matches if it was a good step or not.